Hey, by the way. Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. <laughs> yes, Stevie. Can I just say, you know, yeah, yeah, show, well, yeah, I think you can. You know, on the show when when they were we had a quote from Allegri. Yes. How horrible was that? Well, yeah, I, yeah. When he said I couldn't care less. <laughs> But he said it had nothing to do with <laughs> me. me. Well, he said it's not, not, not his problem. problem. Yeah, this is the news. I mean, your players, news. your players just had a, uh, had a, a knee operation. Yeah. I mean, surely, surely you'll get a little bit of sympathy well, Maybe that was just them. a soundbite they chased. Maybe it was a little more sympathy. Imagine if an international manager problem. said that about his player going back to a club. Well, I don't care. Mm. I don't not care my if you got huh. is this, this has haunted you, Stevie. That was quite a while ago, Barry, back in the show. He's, he's not been able uh, Mario is here with hey, us for the first Mario. time in a long time. I played at the same time as Mario. Oh, do you know what, Shaka? It's interesting yeah. you bring that up because we found a photo <laughs> of you and Mario on in the same game. Ah. <laughs> Hold on, let me get I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> let me get I just Jack, made us. Hey, I just made an incredible save. That's what it is. <laughs> Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. You, we uh, we, we just are scored. celebrating. <laughs> oh, you, goodness hey, me. Thanks a lot. Somebody going to help you me. Help me. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, uh, uh, what's, it, what's interesting, Mario, is that um, when we talk about players, Shaka says that Hasselbank was a really nice guy off the pitch. Yeah. But once he crossed yeah. the line, oh, he, he just got a completely different persona. Now, we just literally talked about the situation with Neymar and Mbappe. Jimmy was identical to that. In, yeah. in the game, when the referee blew the whistle, I had the biggest argument with him. But he was my closest pal at Chelsea. After the game, hey, what are we doing? Let's go eat. No, no, no. But on the game, oh my yeah. God. After one minute, he starts swearing already. So I swear back. So we always had a row going on, and then people would look at us and say like, and then you speak Dutch, so people looking at you like, what are these guys talking about? But they clearly could see that I was upset, and Jimmy was upset. So we would swear at each other, and then after the game we go, hey, okay, where are we going tonight? Well, let's go eat, man, let's go eat. Yeah. So, I, That's so how it is. He, again, yeah, let me take Jimmy, incredible guy off the field. Right. But kind of going back to that, Bowen, Mendy, where I say he's leaving a little bit on him. Yeah. If that was Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, uh, uh, uh. Right, really? I would have been black and blue in about six spots. And he'd have been, I didn't yes. do anything. Really? And, oh, he would have left it on me. What Bowen did there was tame. Jimmy would leave it on you. Like, yeah. So it's no foul from Bowen. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> hey. if, if, if Jimmy yeah. Floyd Hasselbank is, is he measuring stick, that wasn't a foul. That was that was a cuddle. I've got to tell you, I played with a guy called a guy nobody'll know. His name was Danny Master. Okay. And I'll tell you how bad it was. Whenever he was running towards the goalkeeper, the crowd looked away. <laughs> oh I'm no! Because they knew the goalkeeper. Everybody knew it was coming. The only person that didn't figure it out was the goalie. Oh no! It's everybody on the field and in the stand were all going, "Oh no!" <laughs> One of them. The year, the year oh, we got no. to the um, FA Cup final, 2006, we played. I think Jimmy was playing for Middlesbrough at the time. We played Middlesbrough at Villa uh. Park in the semi-final, and somebody tries to clip a ball over the top, and I thought it was going to drop right inside the box. In the end, it was, it was dropping a little bit short, so I'm realizing I'm, I'm going to have to head this. But Jimmy's <laughs> running in, and Jimmy realizes that, oh, this Shaq is going to be exposed here. <laughs> Shaq is and honestly, honestly, I, I looked at Jimmy, he looked at me, his eyes just lit up, and I, I know I have to go for the header. And he just, as he just runs yeah. full speed, turns mm. his back, but into my chest, I am flat out on the floor for about five minutes. That was Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank wow. in one play. Wow. And he oh, would just, he, he, when you played against Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, you knew where you were in a game because he was, he was, he was physical and he would beat you up, but he yeah. was good. Oh. Goodness me, oh, he was a striker. Was Mario, was, striker he like, was he like that in training as well? Yeah, man, you it, like, I, I remember, like I had a problem on my ankle one time and I was just coming back into the team. Jimmy hit the ball so hard, I tried to stop it with my foot and I, I went through my ankle again. I was injured again. Just, <laughs> I, I understand exactly what he's talking about. Chaka, you know, like even my, my eyes, like here, I got stitches on the left and the right. And when I came to England, I remember jumping up and I'm sure like Steve can also relate to it. You got to protect yourself when you jump up. But if you're a boy, you come from Amsterdam, you think, oh, the, the era de is nice and cute. But when you come <laughs> in England, you got to protect yourself. 
So Jimmy used to really have a go at me. Are you ever gonna learn how to jump with your, with your elbows up? Are you always gonna jump up and then get your eyes smashed? And I said like, yeah, but Jimmy, this is football. He said, no, this is different kind of football. Protect yourself. Oh my God, <laughs> crazy guy. <laughs> yes. Brilliant, love it, I, know I love it. <laughs> Um, away from Jimmy no. Floyd Hasselbank, uh, Shaka, given your conversation with Craig last night, they had a bit of an argument last night, which included Craig going, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Shaka did well not to punch him. Uh, do outfield players understand anything at all about goalkeeping? <laughs> um, <laughs> about, about as much as I understand about old field players, let me, let me put it that way. Uh, listen, I. I, I I will always I sympathize with the goalkeeper more times than not be just because I, I have been there and I, I, I know the kind of hardships of it. I know how thin the margins are. I would say the margins are far thinner for a goalkeeper than an all few player in terms of mistakes and being praised or being hated on. And and in this incident in this incident, as I said, I, I what Bowen did there, I have had done to me more times than I care to count. 45 you know, minutes, wasn't it, Stevie, you was, played in goal? I was just thinking about it. You know the one thing I would say that I realised, or I felt afterwards thinking about it? I felt as though I was alone. Right. Mm. I just felt exposed. And mm. thinking about, if I make a mistake here, we're done. Yeah. I mean, you, it's mm. done. You're over. Yeah, there's I no... mean, when you're on the field, there's, there's somehow some sort of, you feel you've got a, a little protective coat because everybody's, you've got another nine guys around you but when you're standing in goal you're, it's like i'm alone here right it's, it's the strangest thing it's, mm. it's definitely a, it's a completely different position mm -hmm. <laughs> mario who's the best goalkeeper that you played with uh from the side edwin from the side probably yeah he was the best you know but i always say that chaka can actually answer that to me i always felt like you guys was so sensitive. When I take your ball away, you could kill us sometimes. You know, like you grab a ball from you guys, like you, you know, you go like, hey, don't touch my ball, you have balls there. Why are you touching my ball? Oh, from the side was oh, like, oh my God. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. my God, brother. You guys are sensitive. Like, you know, you've got a bag for yourself, you got 10 balls, we got a bag for us and we got 10 balls, but I want to grab one ball of you. I say, come on, Chaka, let's kick the ball. And you look at me, you give me that look like, why are you touching my balls? Stay away, grab your own balls. Oh, Oh my God. That, 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 that is the truth. Right, you know what? Right. It's, it's because... <laughs> Anyone turning in right why? now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why? It's, it's, it's because keepers are always the ones who are forgotten about. So now you get to a professional level. Oh, I don't know. I know why he went. <laughs> you know, so so when, when, you, when you're training, we get our balls together, right? This yep. is ours. Right. We've, We've got five or six, you've got 20, but somehow okay, your 20 balls is never enough. <laughs> you always have to come over and take our balls. Stevie's <laughs> laughing because he knows it as well. Because well, we, well, what we used to do is when the goalie get the balls out, right? Yeah. Which was at the end, I mean, it was the end of the 80s because we didn't even have a goalkeeper coach, but eventually, Big Joe, <laughs> what Ronnie would do is we'd, we'd run around where the goalies were warming up. And Big Joe would put the balls out on either side. So it would be like seven or eight balls, yeah. seven or eight balls. And Ronnie would make us run past them because he knew we'd all kick them. <laughs> you see? You see? So as we were running past, I mean? as we were running past, we'd put the balls. So then he'd have to go put them all up again. You see what I mean? <laughs> Can I wait? Yeah. Yeah. We did it on purpose because you guys are so sexy. <laughs> see what I mean? I'm getting all angry again. Like, I'm, getting all, I'm getting all angry. I didn't think even you would care about this. Oh, oh you? Yeah, yeah. I care. Wow. A lot. Chip oh, uh, the goalies as well. <laughs> oh, God, don't, don't even chip start with that. Yeah, chip a goalie. Don't even start with that. Oh, God. Uh, Shaka, have you ever faked an injury in order to get a call like Mendy did? Nah. No? Not I can recall. No? There's one time, so I, actually I was thinking about this the other day, so this had to be like third or fourth professional game. I remember we were way to Brentford, um, obviously playing for Reading, I, as I say, the third game. And uh, this guy came in and, and two-footed me. But he didn't catch me clean. But somebody was down and the physio was right there. And the physio just goes, go down, go, get, go down. And, and as, as I say, I'm, I'm brand new in the game. So I just go down. Crowd went absolutely ballistic. Be brilliant. I'd love to Crowd see a video ballistic. of that. <laughs> I, I, so, but, but like I say, I'm, 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 I'm new. The, the physio was there, he said, yeah. go down. I'm like, all right, so I just fall and down. And everyone's just abusing. Oh, yeah, oh, the amount of abuse. But I, I, I don't recall kind of faking an injury like that. 
Uh, Mario, it seems like a lot of Manchester United signings this summer were for the future, but they spent £70 million on Casemiro, who is 30 and hasn't played much yet. Why? Why? Because I think Ten Hag knows that he has to perform now. He has no time to wait. And that's right. why I think he put players in that have to be actively performing now. Casemiro, of course, is going to be a new league, a new situation, everything for him. But normally, if you look at Casemiro, this is the guy that clearly won the Champions League. It's not the easiest competition. He won the league at home. And that's why come to England, now he expects him to perform, even if he doesn't let him start straight away. But eventually, this will be, it has to be his guy. Why, why isn't he playing? Is it, is it just a matter of time? Teams are willing because the team's winning. Yeah. Fine. I, and, and, uh. and, you know, I, I, I like that because, again, I, I keep seeing I question whether Ten Hag can make the big decisions uh, as needed. But he's stuck with the team that's played well. He's stuck with the team that's won. And, and I, I like that. And while you're winning, you can get away with not playing them. Right. If you're not yeah, winning yeah. and you, you paid mm -hmm. 70 million, then somebody's going yes. to go, hold on a second, why'd you bring this guy in? Mario, which member of Ajax's 2019 Champions League semi-finalist team has been the most disappointing since they got a move? De Jong, Zayek, De Ligt or Donny van der Beek? They've not lived up to the oh. expectations. No, I, 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 I don't. Look, the one that I would say that didn't get the chance, I don't want to say he did not live up to it because Donny is a guy that plays football and he is really unselfish. The problem is that he doesn't play. And all the other guys that you clearly said, okay, Sia doesn't play a lot, but he plays clearly more than Donny. The young plays, great player. The left plays, great player, because they play. But if you don't play, we cannot really judge you. So I will say the disappointment will go only because he doesn't play. And is there a reason for that? Yeah, I mean, clearly, if you're not up to the level, then maybe the coach won't pick you. But now he's got a Dutch coach, so he has to work harder to get himself in the team. That's done. Final question. <laughs> Can Stevie give me a list of go-to foods and drinks for an end of season summer bash? <laughs> Looking to keep it simple, yet elegant. <laughs> elegant? Ooh, I'm, not, I'm not sure elegant. I, uh... <laughs> you, you, can do this, you can do this simple. The simple's you can do easy. This simple. So yeah. what's the simple? Oh, pizza. Pizza. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doesn't get any more simple than uh, that. Oh, very nice, yeah. yeah. I think I wouldn't expect you to go pizza. Do you eat pizza? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> what if I had a, at a base of that sort of shepherd's pie topping on top of the yeah. pizza? Well, a roast dinner. You yes. know what? <laughs> at, my, uh, at my son's wedding, yes. uh, his in-laws, so they had the do afterwards, they had a little break for some food. Right, so it wasn't a sit down, but it was just a help yourself. Okay. And they, had, and they had made, they had made mince and potatoes. Mm. And what it did was you got you got like a little flute. Well, not a flute. It was bigger than a flute. Right. And you put the mince and the potatoes in the flute. I see. And then you just had a spoon and ate Ooh, it. Oh, that, that is that, that elegant and simple. See? Yes. And simple. Yeah. Beautiful. There you are then, <laughs> Mark McNall. And, and everybody loved it. They were all going, "What a great idea this is." Uh, who thought of Who uh, thought of mincing how ties? Many, how many did you have? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> more many than, a flute. More than my fair <laughs> share. Yes. <laughs> many a flute for Stephen. <laughs> trombone like. Thank you very much. That is it. That brings us to the end of today's show. Champions League then back tomorrow. Some big games. Um, I can't remember any of them, uh, but I'm sure they're big and important. <laughs> Somebody's playing. <laughs> Someone's, Somebody's playing. Playing. Someone's playing. Someone's <laughs> playing. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.